Gatsby, Gatsby Keepers, Keepers and Conjurers. Conjurers. We are doing a vlog today. I know that you guys love the vlog. I have a special, special, special treat for you guys on the title. We're going today. Dr. Mudd's house, actually. Where well, we're gonna run to the store first is to get some uh, refreshments and things we need for the road. That's something that, oh my gosh. You know, when I'm vlogging sometimes and people see me vlogging in the car, they always, did you see what just happened? They always wanna see what's going on, but it's fine. It's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna get some coconut water and some snack. Our keep wants a burger. So I'm thinking about getting the burger later on today with you guys during the vlog. I don't know, it's a burger day. I can go with anything. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but our keep loves burger. Dr. Munt's house, if you guys don't know about Dr. Munt's house, this is a doctor that actually treated John Wilkes Booth that killed Abraham Lincoln at the Ford Theater. They say that this place is haunted, so I'm gonna get a feel for this area. Always open on the weekend. They're never open on weekdays and because of COVID and everything. I'm gonna scan the area with our beings and kind of get like an overall feel of the area. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up uh, button if you like us going on trips like this. If you want to suggest where we go in the Maryland, Virginia, DC area next, go ahead and put that down below. I'm thinking about just doing like mundane vlogs on IGTV. So if you guys haven't catch my IGTV, it's right here. Here's my, here's my um, tag and it's gonna be in the description box below too. And this is where it's gonna be like my YouTube vlogs. Sorry about that, sissy called, so I had to pick up that phone and talk to her for a brief second. Everything will be on the description box below and this, as well as my pictures and everything are all on Instagram for your, your consumption. But we're almost to the store, come with us. Oh. Got the mango. We are about to go down south. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down south. <laughs> so we're about halfway to our final destination right now. We're headed over to Dr. Mudd's house, right? So I know that some of you folks may be history buffs. Some of you folks may have forgotten, but uh, Dr. Mudd is the uh, doctor who patched up Wilkes Booth, the, the, the person that actually killed Abraham Lincoln at a theater in Washington, D.C. So it's actually a quite a long trek, even with a car. It's about just about an hour outside of Washington, D.C. So you can imagine uh, being drawn by a horse and buggy, which is what they were using, would take uh, quite a long time. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna take a look. Again, we're gonna have our spirits take a look at the land and figure out, is this place haunted or not? So in route, we are actually right now, guys, in the Civil War path right now. This is where the troops and sol or, or soldiers um, both Union and Confederate marched for battle for the Civil War. I know a lot of you guys in Maryland know about Antietam. Fun fact too, guys, did you know that Harriet Tubman was also in Maryland and leading the people who wanted to escape to up north? This is literally, you can find her path too, and it's a really great um, place to bring your children, guys, to know more about what happened in North America. Scenery is great. There is a lot of activities that you guys can do here, especially coming down to Wardorf, Maryland, or going to St. Mary, St. Catharines, wherever you may be in Southern Maryland. There is a community of Amish here, and they have their own uh, Amish market, and they commune with other people, and they have a really, great place called Hughesville. It's a flea market where you guys can get produce. When you're coming down here, especially if you guys are lodging down here, you know, bring some, you know, farmer's market and good quality fruits to the hotel room or to, if you guys are in Maryland, you know, bring it back home with you, bring a cooler with you. You'll see a lot of history, uh, especially in Southern Maryland. In every state, there's always history. There's things that you can take from different states uh, to, to kind of say that you experienced it. Uh, there's also like a powwow here too for the reservations. We do have different reservations here and they commune with 
and coexist with other people too. So there's lots of things that you can do here. If you guys are looking for used cars or newer used cars or just new cars, come on down to St. Charles County too. There's lots and lots of different dealerships and you can get more bang for your buck. A lot of celebrities and high profile clients actually get their car, especially if they're on the East Coast in the DNV area. People from other states go to Virginia because they have lots of luxury items too and lots of other um, options available for everyone to, to, to see and the DNV is really well known for that. But However, there's all these touristy areas that I'm going to show you that you guys can go to that are well touristy, but um, things are convenient. So beyond um, my husband, back there, there's like a bonefish grill. There is a Five Guys. There is um, Carolina Kitchen. And you guys can actually enjoy lots of foods here too. If you guys are med cards holders, I mean, we're not recreational. However, there are uh, dispensaries in Maryland where you guys can enjoy our different strands that are cultivated here or other places too, but you guys can enjoy that option as well. Years ago, pardon me, let me clean, let me clean my mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. So we're going to take, take a pit stop. And um, I'm getting a little peckish, actually. Um, but there is a wah, a wah, wah here. But we're going to one of the parks where my hubby felt something for the, well, not for the first time, but go on. So this was you know, probably over nine years ago, but um, cause it was two different cars ago and two different presidents ago. So yeah, definitely over nine years. Um, and uh, there's, there's this thing I do guys, and you, you'll see this the more you watch this, but when, whenever I walk into a, a park or any kind of wooded area, I take spring water and I always pour it at the threshold, usually at, at the base of a tree. And I ask the land spirits, I call to land spirits and say, hey land spirits, um, I am asking for your protection and I'm offering you the spring water. Uh, to be protected as I go through your area. So I did that at this particular park we're going to go to right now. And it was this real strong presence. I'm talking about, it literally felt like this thing was like in my face. I couldn't see it at the time. In my face. And it had this strong energy where it was like, who are you? Tell me your name. Like, people don't talk to me. Like, it was just almost pleading with me. And as I was going toward the car, it was almost begging, like, please talk to me. No one's talked to me like this in years. That's the way it felt. So we're gonna go back now and see what happens. I have my protection amulet. And then I have, shout out to Lady Tia. Guess what I'm wearing, Lady Tia. <laughs> shout out to her. Now she's she's a peach, oh my gosh. Um, if you guys haven't yet, um, this is not an ad. I'm not sponsored by Lady Tia, however, she is our podcast, she was our podcast guest, and we're gonna talk to her even more, um, hopefully in the future. Guys, go ahead and go and go to check out her shop on Etsy. She has everything that you guys need to come, that comes to Conjures, that fits every person's personality, every person's per, um, lifestyle. I'm not sponsored by a winter armor. Here, it's a little nerve wracking. I'm feeling as if the keep is a little nervous because there are, it's a hunting park. So they're a little nervous right now. Um, they were really, really, really anxious. So we're just gonna go there and literally be quick about it. I mean, I'm wearing orange, thank goodness. But um, they want you to wear orange. Uh, a lot of people want country <laughs> lane. Well, <laughs> they want you to wear orange so the hunters can see that you are a human and not an animal. So I'm wearing orange, but we're just gonna uh, it was actually in the parking lot too anyways that we gave dedication to the land spirits but yeah they feel very very nervous right now is that the reservation yes that's the that's the oh my okay. god so i'm gonna take i'm gonna um we just pass a reservation back there i don't think we can pass um we can't go in there there's a closed toll all the time
I think they think that we're hunters. <laughs> I mean, we are in a black vehicle. <laughs> Actually, I don't know where it is. I have to find the address. Maybe get the is this it right here? No, this is still taking us to our final destination. I know you remember where the power place was, so that we're, means we're, we're, we, the, we're, we're on the right track. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll, we'll get it coming back. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna come back and do it. We don't know where the hell we are. Like, yeah, I've got to find the address again. There's landscaping here. Oh, is this a cul-de-sac? No, it's not a cul-de-sac. I believe this moves to where you guys. Can you? I think I can. I think I can get. Yeah, we can. Go ahead. A little, a little bit closer. Right, so we can definitely get through. And we are. And you guys are so unprofessional right now because. You guys should uh, put those f***ing wheelbarrows closer to the f***ing grass. God damn. Turning left onto the road, the Texas to us. Oh, thank goodies. They're still anxious, by the way, guys. Guys, why are you guys anxious? Maybe it was a sign. Maybe that was a sign. <laughs> you know, guys, this is what you guys have to learn too from spirit keeping. If you feel as your keep or being is telling you not to do something and you end up not finding the place or can't go, like, can't find, like, you know, you can't find the place and whatnot, then perhaps, is that a for sale? Maybe it's where he likes to park it. Anyways, uh, we just saw like a, like a chopper. Beautiful motorcycle on the side of the road, but it was like on the, you know how the walkway allows you to get access to the road? Yeah. All by itself. Like, there was no, there was no, no, there was no one near it. And it was just so weird to see such an expensive, beautiful bike by itself. Chromed out. Chrome, shine, taken care of. So it looks to be his preferred parking space, but it was literally over, over uh, several hundred feet from the home. So it wasn't normal. It looked weird. Like, it was abandoned or something. Do you guys know about celery juice? Um, and the benefits from that, like, I know that it has a lot of iron in it, but for me, like, I have no upper body strength, but I don't really care to have upper body strength. I have a husband for that, right? Um, <laughs> however, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I, I need to, because I'm going to be doing a lot of these kind of vlogs in the car now in live stream, so I'm going to have to build up guns, but I don't know. I don't want to look like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to sometimes like the Hulk for some odd reason. I don't know. Anyways, we're about to be there soon. So you guys, I'm going to show you. Country world, take me home. Best way I can describe the energy, it kind of reminded me of our vampire energy. Yeah. It was very much like theirs, but it was like, to me, it was turned up. Now, this was years ago, so maybe that's how I responded to dark energy back then versus now. I feel like I, I can barely feel it because I'm so used to it. Like, for, for you folks who um, did not grow up on the East Coast, when you come to the East Coast, a lot of people aren't prepared for the humidity that we have to deal with here. And uh, when you come, you usually are kind of like... It's like it's, it, it's almost like you're walking into a hot bath and you can feel the uh, humidity on your skin and things. That's how it was. Originally, I can feel myself almost being smothered by the dark energy. And now it's like... It's like another Tuesday. Right. It's like another Tuesday. Like, like, it feels <laughs> weird when it's not there. I know, right? So that, that's the difference. <laughs> there is this farm down here that we love going to called Zika Farms, where the Amish actually has their um, butcher shop. And you can get it frozen to bring back home. There's good, good, good jerky. Now, this jerky is not good for cholesterol because there's fat. But, <sighs> girls, for those days when, you know, that time of month when Fred comes and, and Fred wants to stay for a whole week, oh, I'll tell you, that's some good beef jerky. <laughs> How do you guys feel about about country roads, guys? Like, I, I would love to know what you think. Like, comment down below. Like, are they creepy to you? Are they? Do they make you feel calm? Uh, actually, we both uh, grew up being used to country roads in in a certain extent. Because when I went to Thailand, I kind of saw what the country roads looked like. 
then it, it, it's it's very close to this except for in Thailand there's so much more land that you don't see this kind of tree line for hundreds if not thousands of feet to the left or right of the vehicle whereas in America like the, the it's like right next to us so I, I'm used to it I would love to know what you guys how you guys feel about country roads I, we had a friend that we took down this exact same path and because of the energies that's in the area, because of the dark energies we told you about earlier, she was so freaked out. She was she was a bit older than us, I think, at the time. She might have been in her late forties. Oh my gosh, she was like saying she felt off. You guys can see the neighborhood leading up to Doctor Munt's house. So can you imagine them coming down in a horse and buggy? All those bumps um, for the guy that you know did the shooting and how, how he was injured. All right, guys, comment below if you guys know what season um, the assassination happened. How do you like um, driving in these roads? Uh, again, I, I feel very confident in calm country roads. I don't have a problem. So I grew up going back and forth from the, between D.C. and North Carolina. So I'm, like, mm -hmm. I'm used to seeing long rides. Here it is, guys. This is all of Dr. Munn's land. And there is his home. So guys, we this made is it. it. This is it. This, this is, is it. Dr. Mutt's house, and we're gonna be reading to you guys briefly on the history behind Dr. Mutt's house, obviously. And I see eyes on us right now. Okay, the people are moaning along right now, but of course, I feel like there's other eyes. Um, but uh, we're gonna take some pictures. Uh, we're gonna do some B-roll for you guys to see, and we're gonna do some of these because there's like these um, touristy. Um, plaques right here and also we're beyond that car if I don't know if you guys can see I'll have to zoom in but we are right on track where the Civil War path is right there so, so this is all the plaques right here that Alvin just that Alvin just took that Alvin just took and then placker and then here and then oh my gosh his eyes on us Honestly, I don't like this energy. Honestly, I feel very, very uncomfortable, to be honest. How do you feel, babe? I told you with me, it's like, I feel, I feel, I feel like nothing right now. Like, the stuff is, it's like a blockage. It could be the, all the protection. I think quite a bit of protection. Yeah, so. his amulet and everything, I but keep. for me, I only, I only have, I only have one protection, which is the amulet. I don't feel comfortable whatsoever here. I, I feel like there's like eyes, not like, not like human eyes. Not like human eyes, actually. Not like mundane, mortal, human freaking eyes. But it feels as if... Did you get to the house? Can you get the house, too? I just don't, I don't know. Babe, do you want to tell them what happened last time we were here? Like what we did because we didn't like the energy? We decided to send powerful cleansing energy. Uh, we actually drove in here. And we drove yeah. in here, we, we did the ritual in here, we used, um, we used a special soundtrack. At the end of the, end of the ritual, there was a slight electrical problem. I wish I had the film, the video, so you can see, at least see the uh, aftermath. But yeah, now it seems that the energy has now returned, so this area may be uh, infested again, so I have to 
make time to fix it later. I don't know, I feel emotional right now. Like I feel as if people's people manifesting these types of like negative intent, I know that it's negative intent. I know that it's I have to ask Michelle Ballinger this, but I really wanted to ask her about like um historical sites and historical trails. And if you're listening to this, Michelle, if you want to comment down below too or reach out to us, um about this i really really feel as if i don't know my keep members are just saying that it, they, they feel uncomfortable when you hear that that's why you folks uh commenting uh, keepers concierge. concierge so we have it on our phone so we can always have someone take care of it if one of the team members aren't responding in time we'll give it a little clock because you know they're busy and then after a certain amount of time we'll get them to get on it right but one of us will respond let me get let me deal with this real quick, guys. Six hours later. So you guys might hear the AC. It's because my the camera is gonna get overheated, so I have to put the AC on it. Because it is the Hasselblad phone camera. It's a new meal. Something new. So the whole chicken, the whole shell of that taco is a chicken. It's oh. a chicken. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. well, well, anybody who wanted some chicken, that's for sure. Chicken. Ooh. Look how thick this thing is. It's not your. That's your taco right here. It's not your regular. It's your taco. Cool. See the regular taco? Look at, look at the width and look at the girth of, of this. That's, this is two of these together. No, this is, th you have to have one more in order to equal this, in order to equal ch the chicken. Okay, so before we actually actually did a voodoo cleanse. So look, see the chicken taco now, folks? Look at that. Can you see it or the sun killing it, killing the uh, view of it? There it goes, get some of that out of there for you so you can see the way they've got it set up. Okay, St. Charles. Yeah. I remember we both have tacos. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I know sometimes when you order from fast food places, as soon as, soon as you order the food, they ask you what kind of sauce you need. Sometimes just because, just because they want to get the sauce out before it goes bad. But in this case, this really, really needs sauce. It's so you like it. mm -hmm. crunchy and salty that the sauce would actually set it off. So it definitely needs sauce. We're going to use fire sauce. Actually, the, the naked chalupa by itself is actually pretty spicy on its own. But it's aftertaste spicy. It's not something that... It looks good though. You like it? It was clean. The the stuffing was clean. There is some uh, a, a being or a thought form flying in Dr. Mudd's area or in the vicinity of the countrysides or the country roads that we drove by. And Hubby felt it too. Papa, what did you do? Yeah, but I had to, when I tried to concentrate and open myself up a little bit and turn off some of my protection. I actually got an image. Like, I actually can see the image of it looking down, and it looks down directly on top. So it's like what our car looks like from a satellite image. Um, I can't... I didn't feel um, the negative intent. I think it's probably because it's trying not to push it out too much. 
Um, some things don't know what. Some things don't know how to dial it down. It's very, very dreadful and things. I didn't feel dread from it myself, but again, I have a lot of protections up, so I don't know if I was filtering it out. Um, and also, I have this thing where, depending on what kind of protections I have on what day, I want to go towards it if it's telling me to, leave, to actually leave. Like if it's going to try to be bossy and demand that that I leave, depending on where I'm at, I'm like, who are you to tell me where to go? So I might be in that mode today as well. We are almost towards the end of retrograde, so I, I can understand. So for the neck of a ch- for the neck of ch- chalupa, it's very bland to me. <laughs> um, so now, let's see again. This it's got nothing like a solid inside of it. It's like a solid. You know, it's not the best, folks. Here, let's trade the bites. See that? It's like a it's like a solid. I'll trade you. It's basically a chicken salad. So chicken salad sandwich. Fried chicken salad sandwich. Even has fried cheese. Like 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 on the side. The keep changed their mind. They wanted Taco Bell. Yes, my keep prefers Taco Bell. I like Taco Bell. Okay. The sauce is actually a mayonnaise based sauce, too. You don't have it here. You don't have enough. It's so thick. You don't get the taste into the bottom of it. Thing you know, this, they'll, they'll be making these things out of fried hot dogs. If you're watching someone from Taco Bell, you should get on it. But the same thing as a heavily processed meat, but should put salt in it. Mm-hmm. Not bad, it has a satisfying crunch. I can't help but feel like it's missing something though. Top one was a mayonnaise though. You know? Well, what did you think? You know that Southwest chicken salad from McDonald's? Mm-hmm. It tastes like that. I like I like McDonald's stuff. It's a chicken salad sandwich. Mm-hmm. But I want a sour cream. My stuff, so. But that's all protein, guys. That's all protein. That's probably what they need. Check out those sauce and change it to a sour, sour cream. cream sauce. Add some lime. It needs lime. That's what it needs. Yeah, lime. Because the hot sauce has that li- lemony taste. That acidic lemony taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the texture. They got it down packed with the texture, but they got to work on that sauce. That sauce is it's just not doing it justice. Who, guys, who missed the Mexican pizza? I know you do. That was your choice. Your order of choice. You can have my burrito, actually. Cool. Which one is this? Your this is mine. Okay. Actually, can I trade you? Can I have your taco and you have my burrito? Go ahead. Do I like the taco? No frills here. This is all regular food from Taco Bell. But look at how cute the taco is. This Taco Bell knows how to make food. Look, look. Oi, thai. Oh my god, Charlie, I forgot. A shout out to Charlie Cheer. If you guys haven't seen her channel, I'm going to leave it in the link below to you. She's a fellow witch from the pagan perspective. Oh my gosh. Love Charlie, love Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, look what happened. <laughs> I squirted just like you. <laughs> Kidding. Gosh. Charlie, take us to Del Taco. We don't have a Del Taco on the East Coast. 
We don't even have a Jack in Box. <laughs> nor, nor a Carl's Jr. Charlie, Charlie, take us in your RV and take us to Jack in Box and and um, Del Taco. Literally, she got a meal, a meal for, and she's a. Either she's a vegetarian or a vegan. Um, she doesn't eat. She doesn't. She doesn't eat animal products. She's like plant based. No, no. She's a veg. I don't know which one she is. Um, however, she talks about that a lot in her channel. And Charlie, if you wanna, you know, like bring some, you know, Del Taco <laughs> for us, FedEx that to us. Drive um, your fabulous, fabulous RV to DC. Let us know. Yes, we'd love to do a collab. I'm sure she's getting all of the breaking breaking bad people. Be beeping their horns and so on. Mm -hmm. oh, I only saw two episodes of Breaking Bad. I couldn't I could not get past the premise. You know, I don't know mm, if this so is, if this is a good good or bad thing, guys. Wow. But this burrito tastes so good. I feel like that naked chicken thing was so bland that when I got all of the over <laughs> when I got all the over spiciness of this, it just reminded me what good Taco Bell food tastes mm -hmm. like. Probably don't um, don't buy more than one, folks. If you're gonna get one of these, <laughs> buy one and see if it if it fits your palate. But it's not your burrito of choice, anyways, for Taco Bell. Yeah, I love burrito. I love bean burritos, but this has this five layers. In it. Yeah. Okay, so apparently, guys, Dr. Munn was actually pardoned um, through a president after, I guess, after the assassination. He was actually pardoned. So, guys, the property was built in 1865, all right? It was added to the National Registration of Historical Places in October 1st, 1974. And we're going to talk more about history when we get to when we get back to the office promise so wilkes booth and his accomplice uh, rode by horseback all the way down to garrett's farm which is situated in virginia there's even a large body of water these guys had to cross and if you are from the maryland virginia dc area you'll know that that bridge is no small bridge so it's interesting they had to have probably paid a ferry to get across um and i'm not sure if the bridge was even erected in the 1800s so that should um that was probably quite the task uh it is said that they arrived at garrett's farm early in the morning so they were probably uh surrounded by a lot of wildlife and very cold when they finally arrived at this uh small house that's on the side of the road guys comment down below if you want us to make the trek down there it's not too far from us we can go straight to the spot where wilkes booth died if you wish um, if this video gets, let's say, if we get 50 likes on this video, we'll go. We'll go down there for you guys if we get 50 likes and we'll do a part two. Um, and we may even be able to see if we can get um, into the Washington Navy Yard where uh, Booth's body was taken uh, to be positively identified by a way of autopsy. Uh, it was said that 10 people saw his body, viewed it, knew it was him once it was sacked up and brought to the Washington Navy Yard. So if you guys want us to make those extra special trips, don't forget, uh, smash that like button, get us to 50 likes, and we will do our best to get that trip updated for the second uh, round on this video, if you guys are into that. Hey guys, so we're right back home now, and I just wanted to go over a little bit of what we, we, of what we were experiencing while we were out there. Um, as we approached the fence, there was a presence of energy that was kind of like watching us from the skies we did feel that there was something looking at us some kind of a thought form or some kind of flying entity um uh we didn't feel any direct attacks it was more of a very very strong pointed warning of not coming back however we didn't feel that the people who actually owned the building or anything living within the building was telling us not not to, to come back so this is kind of like a a outer area thing like away from the dr mudd's property there's something in that area that is trying to like tell us not to come back which is very interesting because it's it's almost like a a threat in a way but a threat where they didn't really do uh anything 
beyond sending a message, like a clear message. So remember, the spirit world is very much like the earthen world, the world that you live in and you die in and you kind of breathe and, and love in and stuff and you go to work in. You're going to find people that don't like you, right? You're going to find coworkers that don't like you. You're going to find customers and things that would rather not um, have your service for whatever reason. To give you an example of what it feels like, it reminds me of really, really dark energy. If you have any vampires and you, you keep, you'll know that kind of uh, real anxiety kind of feeling like we're trying to, to place the anxiety on you so that way you can leave uh like i said i at first i wasn't able to feel most of it because i do keep a lot of protective wards and things up but when i focused i was able to pull in the energy and i actually knew exactly which direction it came from and actually if i focus hard enough sometimes i can get an image of what the thing sees uh when it's looking at us so like what position is looking at us from and things like that don't forget to hit that thumbs up button uh hit that subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit that bell icon because sometimes we'll post lives i know my wife likes to do a lot of lives sometimes you, you'll miss those lives in fact if you look back in the comments a lot of people have been missing those the way not to miss those is to make sure you ring that bell i can't tell you how important that bell is to making sure you get the best content you can get thanks so much for watching guys enjoy your weekend please be safe out there make decisions that are right for you and your family and blessed be